What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It is almost time to pop bubbly and celebrate a moment of significance, magnitude that is going to fill the hearts, souls, and fandom of Washington Commanders football team, Redskins Nation. We are this close to Daniel Snyder selling the team. The clock is now ticking in the next 10 days because per Mike Florio, of Pro Football Talk and A.J. Perez of Front Office Sports, Washington's owner, Daniel Snyder and Mrs. Snyder, Tanya, they have packed it up. They've completely cleared out everything that they own out of the, out of the, out, out of Ashburn, out of Commander's Park. All of their stuff is gone. Like, I'm flustered. Like, I can't even believe it. We're finally to this day. We used to pray for times like this. Is that what Meek Mill said? We, We've been praying for times like this for the last 24 years. He's gone. He's out of here. He's packed his bags. Everything that he owns, every single item that reflects Dan Snyder is out of FedEx Field and out of Ashburn Park, Commander's Park, whatever you want to call it. The dweeb is leaving for good this time. There's going to be, there's not going to be no last minute okie doke or none of that. AJ Perez even reported while he doesn't expect it to go on the market like his Potomac house, you know, the $50 million one. Let's just say the mansion that he bought in Alexandria, Virginia, he said it's just sitting there and they'll be living in London after all. And we've seen those papers about them filing for like a visa or something to live overseas. They're going after 24 years. Dan Snyder's reign of terror over this franchise is gone. I know y'all seen Jim Ursay tweet that South Park clip making fun of Dan the other day. The owners know it. The media know it. Like, it's all coming out little by little, and it's been very quiet on the sales front as far as bidders are concerned the last couple of days. And there could be a reason for that. On Saturday, it was reported that Jeff Bezos signed a confidentiality agreement either with the NFL or Snyder or both. And then on Sunday, like we just got an influx of cash flow, we give Deron Payne a contract. We give Deron Payne a contract, $60 million guaranteed. And then we get the news that Daniel Snyder has took his ball and went home. He's packed his bag up, got the moving trucks ready to go, and he's about to hop on Redskins 1 and go to the UK. Maybe he could purchase a soccer team that he can ruin. but. I don't care what he does after he leaves. Just keep him as far as he can away from my franchise, man. All of the meddling, all of the nonsense, suing fans, not upgrading our facilities. You want to you make yourself mad? Watch these signings and these announcements and these pictures of players touring their new facilities league-wide. Look how fucking nice and fancy their facilities are. And then look at our shit. Redskins Park, Commander's Park, football, whatever you want to call that shit in Ashburn. Loudoun County, where there's a data center every time you can blink and turn your head. Who can't even hold a press conference without the internet crashing. That's Daniel Snyder's Washington. You know what Daniel Snyder's Washington is? consistently being mediocre, not even the worst team in the league, but always managing to make headlines for all the wrong reasons. Two decades long, sexual misconduct and improprieties, even directly implicating the owner himself. We're talking about a dude who let scouts and front office members do their work all year to scout players, to work for one day, draft night, and this motherfucker can just walk off his boat and say, draft this quarterback because he went to school with my son. This is Daniel Snyder, a guy that gave the keys to the franchise to a quarterback that was 22 years old before he was proven. And let him and his father with his lopsided ass high and tight fade sit the coaching staff down in Dr. Andrews Rehabilitation Center and say, no. My son is not running the zone read offense anymore. That's what this owner does. He meddles. He spend, He spent money just to spend it. Didn't care if it made sense. 
He never showed his face and took his lumps and took his L's like a man. He either threw his wife at it. He threw Bruce Allen at it. Jason Wright at it. He threw Vinny Sarai. He threw everybody he could on his own fire. He never let himself go to fire because he just couldn't suck it up. He couldn't accept the fact of his own failure. A man that sends his wife to go be the figurehead of the organization so he doesn't have to take the heat himself. That is what we've had as an owner for the last 24 years. And that is what we're about to get rid of. They said the deadline is on and it is expected for this sale to be imminent and to be voted on and approved at the owners meetings coming up in Arizona on March 26, 10 days from today. I, 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 I put this offer out there for anybody, anybody responsible in the DMV or not in the DMV, someone responsible, not me. Someone organized the parade. Are we marching on Ashburn? Are we marching on FedEx Field? Organize a party, a parade. This is our fucking Super Bowl, Commanders Nation, because now business can go on as usual and we can actually be ran like an actual business. I don't care who buys this team. I still feel like it's Bezos, but if it's not, so what? Because literally anybody in the world can purchase this team and from day one be an upgrade over Daniel the Dweeb Snyder. And I mean that shit sincerely, genuinely, and wholeheartedly. Dan, we will not miss you. Sure, we had maybe two or three good times when you would fire the jet up at 11.59 on free agency night, when you would sequester a superstar coaching candidate and not let them leave. We had a couple good times with you, never great times, and we never had any actual success. I'm 31 years old. Our last playoff victory happened when I was 13. 13. I have a whole about to be 12-year-old son, and I ain't seen a playoff game in 18 years. I ain't seen a playoff win in 18 years, man. I ain't seen one quarterback throw for 30 touchdowns. I have not seen an 11-win season. And the biggest culprit as to why I and many of you have not seen such is Daniel M. Snyder. But the dweeb is going to be out of our hair soon. It's for real. It's happening. We don't have to be skeptical about it. We don't have to doubt it. There will not be any last second okie dokes. This motherfucker is gone. Let me know where we're popping champagne, where we're popping bottles, where we're celebrating emphatically and where the pandy pandemonium will be because i will be there and i will bring a crew with me because that is a moment we need to celebrate and that is a moment i need to document to tell my kids 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 one day you know if i make it that far because this is something to celebrate put it in the goddamn history books daniel snyder is selling the washington commanders you know he told us he would never change the name change the name he told us he would never sell He's selling, and I could not be more happy about it. Washington fans, we are finally free. Well, not yet, but we're almost there. We're on the home stretch of getting Dan Snyder the fuck out the paint. Until next time, hell to the Washington Commanders. We used to pray for times like this. Deuces.